Welcome to Hobby Adventures. Today we are going to be talking about consist. 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 Contest. No, it's not a contest. It's a consist. All right, to begin things off, what is the meaning of a consist? All right, so according to Google, consist, the, the word, a noun, a set of railroad vehicles forming a complete train. Today we are going to talk about hooking up multiple locomotive engines together to run together. There are three ways of creating a consist. Consist. So there are three ways of creating a contest. The reason why I'm laughing is because I keep saying contest, but it's not a contest. We're creating consists. All right. So before we go on and start talking about what the three consists, the uh, three ways of programming a consist, uh, to hit this card over here uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about on how to speed match all your locomotives. So this is one key thing that we need to do before we create a consist. We need all of the locomotives running at the same speed because if we don't have them running at the same speed and they're doing whatever they want to do and they want they don't want to listen and it's nothing that's uniform, then creating a consist it will work, but at the same time with the push and pull with the two different speeds it'll put a lot of uh, strain on your engine. So go ahead, watch that video and then come back to this one. Now, the three steps or the three ways of creating a consist with your digital system, actually some of them you might be only be able to do two, but uh, with the ECOS 2 and most digital systems today, there are three ways. So let's go ahead and see what they are. All right, the first one is pretty explanatory. It is called basic consisting. Uh, what that is, is basically you take, your two, you take your two locomotives and you just program onto the same address. Easy peasy, nothing to muck around with, nothing to fuss around with. The second one is called advanced consisting. This one is taking CV19 and joining two locomotives together and giving them their own address on CV19. Mind you, I am going to get into more detail about this. Con for creating a consist, the third way, it's called universal consist. Now, not all digital systems can do this. This is creating a, con a consist within your system. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to end up going to the computer so that way I can show you guys what to do. All right, so we got the ECOS powered up, ready to go. Uh, before we go on, I'm, I'm going to do a two-part series to this video, only for the fact that um, doing the advanced contesting actually will take a bit of time to do. So I'm only going to stick over here to the ECOS, uh, stuff that we're going to be doing on the ECOS. And uh, then the next video that's going to be coming up will be for the advanced consisting. So the first one that we're going to be looking at is basic consisting. Um, so as I said before, it's what you want to do is take two locomotives and go ahead and program them underneath the same address. All right, so for an example, I'm gonna be using my very first consist train that I ever created, and this is what I did. Um, so it's the Santa Fe, I have an A unit, which is this bad boy over here, and a B unit, which is the trailing engine behind it. Uh, and they're both programmed underneath the same address number six. Now you don't have to do this underneath address number six. You guys choose the address that you want. To learn more about it, go ahead, click on this video up here, this link right up here, and it shows you on how to program a locomotive with the ECOS 2. All right, second one is universal consisting. All right, so let's go ahead, choose our locomotives. All right, here we go, 5404. And then next one is this one. Ha ha. All right, so these are the ones that we're going to be using. Do so you want to go over here to the spanner? And we're going to do create new consist right here. Consist right here. All right, so it's going to be the SD60 5404. Uh, then we're going to add, we're going to hit this train plus because we're going to add it to the consist list. There we go. And then the next one is this bad boy right here, the GP40. Hit that plus. It's going to throw the train over there. Now, pay attention. You're going to need to know which way the front train and the lead train is going to be. So in this case, my lead train is going to be the SD60 and my GP40 is going to be the tail train. Now, what you want to do is you want to give it a direction that it's going to be going. So because the SD60 is going to be the lead train, I want that one going forward. So this is the direction button going forward. And then the GP40, I am actually going to have it going backwards. So as you can see, 
I have this one here going as backwards. Now, if you have multiple units, more than two, or like say you had four, uh, maybe you might wanna have the, this GP40 going forward. So you're gonna press forward, then the next say, um, GVO is going backwards, then you would put that one backwards. So just remember what you wanna do is your lead train is gonna dictate which way the consist is gonna be moving. And then from there, you know, which way that you're gonna have the, the rest of the trains or the rest of the locomotives, which way they're going to be facing will dictate on which way they're going to be going. I know that's a little confusing, but I hope you guys understood that. Okay, but for today, I'm only going to be using two, and there we go. Once you have picked your locomotives, you want to go ahead, go into advance. So if you already have a picture of your consist, you can go ahead, download it. I'm going to put a link over here where you can, where I'll show you on how to download images onto your ECOS right up over here. There's a link. And uh, then after what you want to do is you go over to user defined images and you can choose your locomotive picture over there. So I don't have one just yet. So I'm going to keep this one over here. Uh, they are diesel. So I'm going to look quickly for a diesel consist. And then over here, down, down at the bottom here, you have local list one, two, and three. I have my first list is for N scales. My second one, is, second one is for HO scale. And my third one, I am gonna put it for my consist. I'm gonna leave it there so it, it shows up on both lists. So then you wanna go ahead, hit the check mark. Oh, and then if you would like, you can go ahead and rename your consist. So we're gonna rename this one, hit the keyboard. Go ahead and rename your consist. So I am going to be renaming it to the Coal CN consist. Hit the check mark and there you go. You have it right over here. Now because the 9303 is in a consist, you're going to you are not going to be able to control this train individually. So then what you can do is just basically go down here to the controller, to the spanner, and then hit release, the train will go away and you don't have to worry about it. Pick another train if you'd like. Let's uh, take a quick look to see what's happening with the train. Let's turn on the track power and see if everything's good. All right, so we have it turned on. As you can see, there are no lights just yet. Uh, let's turn on the light. Oh, very nice. Now, as you can see, the SD60, the lead locomotive, the front lights turn on, and then the GP, then the GP40 on the back Going backwards, the rear lights will turn on. So as you can see, the lights are turning on and off, which is a good thing. And uh, let's go ahead and accelerate a little bit. And it works. Awesome. All right, guys, that concludes this part one of contesting. Tune in until next time. We are going to be doing consist, advanced consisting with CV19. Until next time, keep on modeling.